What's going on guys? Traveling Power Rangers fan here coming at you with an unboxing of the Piranhas Head Lightning Collection figure. Got this in recently from Hasbro Pulse, Germany's website. Yes, it's launched here in Germany and that can help me get toys a little bit faster for a little bit more money. So, uh, let's, uh, let's get to it. But first, don't forget, give this video a nice thumbs up, drop a comment. If you're not already, hit that little red subscribe button. Videos always coming out on this channel and over on TikTok, all that good stuff. Check out all my social medias down below. Let's get to this unboxing. All right, Ranger fans, here we are. Prayer on his head in its box, looking great. Another awesome monster of the week to add to the collection. Now, this monster of the week is from Power Rangers Season 2. Mighty Morphin, of course, he was in four different episodes. He was in episode 1, 2, and 3, as well as episode 38 of that season. So, those are, you know, the quick facts on this figure. Let's go ahead, get it out of the box, and check it out in the tray as always. You know this is one of my favorite things to do, so let's get to it. Alright, ladies and gentlemen of the internet, here he is in the tray, looking great. He's got alternate hands, of course, as always with the lightning collection. You got his little back fin there. His lightning effect piece looks great up there in the corner. I might actually use this one. I don't know. And, of course, his nunchucks that are made of fish. Another classic figure. I think this one's going to look great. I've seen a video from Lord Kratos, and it looked awesome. So I'm super excited to get this out of the package. Talk about some of its finer points. And uh, I think I'll actually show you guys where it's going to go for a little bit. Uh, I never do that, and I think you guys might actually like that. So, let's go ahead and unpackage this guy. Oh, guys. I am so thrilled to have this figure out of the box. Let me tell you. His paint applications look great. Honestly, I'm super thrilled with this figure for the price point. Uh, his scaling is awesome there on the back. The way it fades, you know, from white into pink. The down here at his feet, the teal and white look awesome. I, I just, I can't say it enough, guys. I'm super thrilled with this figure. Um, I will say that Hasbro Pulse Germany, the figures are slightly more expensive. Uh, I forgot to mention that earlier. So I just want to do that now. But for some people that can only get it from there, it is still probably the best deal that they can get. Um, Piranha's Head, I think you're a great figure. I think he's a perfect fit for the monster line that we have going. And I'm curious to what figures you guys would like to have here on out from the monster collection of the week. I know I would like... Um, I would like us to actually expand into some different seasons if we could... I think that would be phenomenal, and I think Hasbro could make a killing. I would like to see a couple monsters of the week from Zio and a few of the other seasons that I really enjoy. So, that's Piranha's Head, guys. Let's go ahead. Let's. I'm going to get a Lightning Collection regular figure, so a Ranger, and I'm going to get a monster so we can kind of show you the similarities here. So, let's switch to that. That's right. I grabbed Shadow Wiz's favorite Dragon Shielded pink ranger to show you the height difference here of uh, the seven inch piranha's head and the lightning collection figures that it would go up against i think this scaling is on point as always um i probably should grab the build a figure Me megazord uh and compare it as well uh but this is what a standard figure would look i separate my villains and my rangers under different sets uh but that's just me uh how do you guys do yours drop a comment let me know those comments are amazing, and I love them. So, that is Pink Ranger. Now, let's go ahead and grab... Uh, I'm not sure. All right. I grabbed the two most recent figures that have come out for the Monster Line. Pair on his head, right next to Pudgy Pig. And honestly, these are probably the two best monsters um, out of them all. Finster is up there. If you saw my Finster video, you already know. I think he's amazing. Possibly the best figure from the Lightning Collection. But I think Hasbro really turned themselves around when it comes to these monster figures. Uh, Pumpkin Rapper and King Sphinx, I am consistently seeing on clearance. Uh, I've seen them shelf warming at a store near me. Uh, but I, I don't think Piranha's Head is going to shelf warm at all. I think people are going to scoop this figure up, guys. I really do. 
I was very hesitant about ordering it to the point of I didn't even order it until it was on Hasbro Pulse Germany. And I ordered it because I noticed that it was shipping months ahead of what um, like Amazon and Hasbro US said they were going to ship. I believe they say September or November right now. But here we are, April 15th, unboxing Piranha's Head. So, those are the two figures. Let's get him on the shelf with the other villains and show you what that looks like. Here we are at the villain though. Wait, this isn't all of the villains. This is just uh, my uh, my throne from Ranger's Forge over on Etsy. Great 3D printed throne, so I just wanted to give it a plug real quick. Let's go over to the actual villains, the other ones, right? They're right over here. So here we got Piranha's Head with his pumpkin wrapper, you know... Pudgy Pig, Rita, Zed, some putties. Yeah, this is this is the villain shelf. I actually rotate a few of these villains between here and the other location I just showed you. Right here with all the other Mighty Morphin stuff. Of course, the six Tanga battle looking awesome. But little look at just, you know, what my Mighty Morphin area is looking like. Because I don't think I show off my display enough to you guys. All right, guys, that was that was pure on his head. I'm super excited to have him over there on the shelf right behind the Lego City. Man, I can't wait to have a bigger room so that Lego City is not blocking this amazing Power Rangers display from you guys. I am considering doing another tour video soon. I don't know if you guys would like that. Um, my display is just consistently changing, and I like to show it. Um, so if you check me out over on TikTok, I do a lot of little 15 to 30 second looks. Um... So go over there, give me a follow if you'd like. Uh, same with Instagram, all that good stuff. Thanks for coming out to this video, guys. If you enjoyed it, like I said at the beginning, please give it a thumbs up. Drop some comments, as I've said along the way. That just helps the YouTube algorithm and helps me get closer to my goal. I think right now I'm at 626 subs when this video is coming out. My goal is 1,000 subs by the end of the year. I have some reasons for that goal. Uh, I will probably do a giveaway. I like to do those. Uh, I will probably switch to all 4k footage from the 1000 sub point on uh uh half my footage is 4k right now and i would love all of it to be 4k especially this view you'd get a better view of this whole room and all the awesome stuff that's around me so please guys subscribe if you haven't already thanks for coming out of this video can't wait to see you in the next one